Hello and welcome to Telegraph Studio and Business Reporter's Future of Insurance campaign, hosted by The Telegraph Online. I'm Alastair Greener. We're told that today we're living in the age of big data, where information is abundant and smart technologies help us process it. If there's an industry that can benefit from this golden age, it surely will be the insurance sector. But ask any firm or decision maker whether they feel confident about risk management, fraud prevention, assessment or claims procedure, you'll find that the abundance of data doesn't necessarily mean more control. Occasionally it means more confusion, inefficiency and more uncontrolled risk. This contradiction is frustrating the industry. In a world where we have to access more information, we struggle to translate this flood of data into actionable knowledge. Where have we lost control? How can we get it back? This is what we're going to try and find out with Dr. Michael Skiba and Roland B. Werner from Inform. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Why are we inefficient when we're using data and then connecting up all the dots? There is one crucial obstacle. In the insurance industry, there is a silo mentality. The data is in different departments, like underwriting, claims, special investigation units. And the challenge is to bring all these data together. The industry is using old-fashioned legacy systems, an additional challenge to bring the valuable data together. So all of this data, and of course, if you bring it together, there's even more of it. So is that a burden or an opportunity? Uh, it's, it's seen as an incredible opportunity for insurance companies because what's going to happen is we know from the Internet of Things, 50 billion devices will be connected um, in a few years. So what that's going to do is insurance companies that can harness the power of that data uh, are going to make great strides ahead. Uh, alternatively, companies that, that don't are not agile and use that, that uh, data powerfully, uh, it's going to be a burden too. So that's really, it's going to be a game changer in the upcoming years. And this is where we're going to see the biggest divide in insurance companies, for sure. And as you say, that's a massive issue, isn't it? Being able to make the most of that data. So how can you empower insurance companies to actually harvest that data? Empowerment means to control the data. That's most important, to know where are the valuable data to control it. Because we talk about a chaotic data lake, a chaotic um, data situation, when we talk about the huge tsunami of data, which is an ongoing problem. So how can you make the most of all of this data to speed up and to help the claims process, but also minimize risk at the same time? Yeah, and that, that's, that's all about optimization. And so optimization uh, is, is really about profitability. So as an example, what, we can, what an insurance company can do is they can uh, uh, drive that profitability through pushing low risk or no risk claims directly into a specific unit to handle that. So for example, let's say uh, Mrs. Smith has a claim, immediately reports it. Uh, within seconds, uh, uh, the solution can pull data from internal and external sources uh, and can immediately identify this individual as low risk and move them into a fast track area where things are completely automated, uh, which, which makes uh, Mrs. Smith happier, uh, drives profitability um, and, and drives results. Now that software is really important, isn't it? Because there are some fraudsters who have found vulnerabilities in technology and they actually take advantage of that. How can you protect yourself against such fraud? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And so, so what happens is technology is great, we know that. Uh, but with that, technology has brought the new type of criminal. And what happens is insurance companies have done a good job uh, identifying the organized criminal, those big cases. But what's happening with technology is as we streamline the process, we lose that human touch. And we have the opportunistic fraudster, those that have legitimate claims, uh, but, but they exaggerate them. And, and those are really where the pain points are going to be with the customers. We had a case where a claimant defrauded an insurance company for $500. Uh, that grew into $5 million over 10 years with five different insurance companies. And it just came because he realized it was so easy to do. So insurance companies need to focus on that technology, but also have the solution in place to filter out those opportunistic criminals. When you get such big cases as that, 
you know, how are insurance companies doing these days in protecting themselves against such frauds? Are they actually achieving anything? What we find is that insurance companies are, are very myopic in their view. So, so they're looking at, at one preventative strategy where what they need to do is develop a multi-pronged approach. And, you know, we know from, from criminal, criminological studies that fraudsters are different personalities are different, their styles are different. So what insurance companies need to do is develop different strategies that will deter those different types of criminals. And that's really what's going to have an impact on the solution for sure. And what, yeah. let, me, let me add one topic. We talk about opportunistic fraud. That's important to have in focus. But we also see a challenge with organized fraud. And therefore, we need also excellent technique to figure out to detect fraudulent networks. And organized fraud is exactly organized in this direction. Huge, huge um, organization with hundreds, thousands of fake, not to say fraudulent claims behind. So where does Inform come into all of this and the products that you use? What do you do? Inform is supporting the insurance, insurance industry since years. Inform use a very smart and intelligent technology called Risk Shield. And Risk Shield is supporting in claims optimization and really important also in precise fraud detection. You say precise fraud detection. Can you give me an example of somewhere where it's helped? Absolutely. So we, we know that traditional systems focus on known patterns of behavior, which is very important in identifying organized criminals. And it's very effective. But what's needed, we know from the mentality of the fraudster that they're always one step ahead of us. So, so what's needed is systems that actually look at those patterns, but then look to predict future patterns that are unknown right now and unknown by the insurance company. So these are unknown threats. So, so these systems using predictive analytics, machine learning, and artificial intelligence will do just that. Let's look at insurance companies. We know, as you said earlier on, that fraud is on the increase. So what do you suggest insurance companies do to minimize that fraud and to meet the challenges that they face? So insurance companies, as, as we spoke about, are, are, are focused very myopically. You know, they're in the silo uh, approach where departments and people are not talking to each other. So what, what, what we envision is a company um, implement an ecosystem of fraud detection, where data is at the central nucleus of that. And that's really where the future is going to be. And the more systems and, and uh, operating systems and people that talk to each other uh, and, and bring that data into that central nucleus, the better it's going to be because it can be analyzed and uh, uh, you know, we can departmentalize it and, and, and break it down. So that's really where we're going to see the biggest uh, impact. Well, with insurance fraud increasing all the time, it's nice to know there are actually solutions out there that can help minimize all of that. Dr. Michael Skiba, Roland Werner from Inform, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you.